Hi everybody and welcome uh, to a video in which we are going to take the time to look at time. In fact I've split the topic into two and in this first video we are going to look at the basic units of time and also how to work the 12 and 24 hour clocks. <laughs> Sometimes when you are learning maths, there are things that you just need to sit down, have a look at and memorize. And this is one of those examples. If you want to be able to calculate using time, you need to be familiar with the units of time. So let's have a quick look through some of the most important. First of all, we need to know that one minute is made up of 60 seconds. Also, the minutes add together and 60 minutes make up an hour. Now, it's also quite useful just to be able to memorize that if 60 minutes is an hour, then 15 minutes, 15 is a quarter of 60, therefore 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. Also, 30 minutes is half an hour, 30 is exactly half of 60, and therefore 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour. Let's go back to the left hand side and look at some more. We have one day, well the day is made up of 24 hours. We also know that one week is made up of seven days. A year is a good one to remember. One year is 365 days. And of course a year is also made up 12 months. There are just two more and the first of those is a decade and one decade is 10 years, and a century is 100 years. There really isn't an easy way to memorize these. It really is a matter of reading through them and learning them. So let's have a look at a few questions that you might get asked. The first one here is how many minutes are there in two and a half hours? Well, we already know that one hour is 60 minutes so maybe a simple way to work this out is to say that if one hour is 60 minutes then two hours would be another 60 minutes and then we know that a half hour is 30 minutes so if we add those together 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 3 is 15 so we have our answer one hour two hours and a half an hour are 150 minutes the second one, how many days will make two weeks? Well, that's a very similar method because we know that one week is seven days. So if we add another seven days on there, that's two weeks. That is 14 days. We might alternatively have said, OK, if one day is seven weeks, then we multiply that by two to get two weeks. And of course, the answer is the same. How many months are there in three years? Again, two possible ways of doing this. We know that 12 months is one year. Therefore, if we multiply that by three, we would get 36 months. Alternatively, you could do it with addition. One year is 12 months, another year is 12 months, and another year is 12 months. Add them together, and again, we get 36 months. Let's move on now and have a look at how we tell the time. Now, unfortunately, we have two different methods of telling the time, and we need to be familiar with both of them. The first of the two is the 12-hour clock. And when we are telling the time in the 12-hour clock, we have times that are in the morning, but we also have the same times but in the afternoon. And in order to be able to tell the difference between the two, if it is a time in the morning, we call it AM, and in the afternoon, we call it PM. So how does this work? Well, our day starts at midnight, and midnight is in the morning, and therefore, if we are telling the time, we say it is 12 o'clock in the morning, therefore, it is 12 AM. From midnight, we have the usual numbers after 12 o'clock we have one o'clock and two o'clock and so on through the morning we then get to the time of 11 59 a.m 
and don't forget these times here have also all been a.m. Now 11.59 means it is just before lunchtime, 12 o'clock. So as soon as the clock changes to 12 o'clock again, we are now in the afternoon and we call it 12 p.m. And so the clock starts again, one o'clock, but this time it is p.m., two o'clock and so on throughout the afternoon and evening. Once again, we get to 11.59 p.m. and we have reached the end of our day because as soon as the clock goes back to 12 o'clock, we are back to 12 o'clock in the morning. Now let's compare that with the 24-hour clock. Now in the same way as the 12 hour we start at midnight. Here there's a difference though, rather than writing 12 o'clock a.m. we actually write 0000 and you will see that on a 24 hour digital clock. Sometimes you hear it called zero hours. After that things become a little bit more familiar because after midnight we then have one o'clock which is written o one zero zero and it continues in the normal way so two o'clock in the morning is o two and o three so that carries on in the normal way until we get to twelve o'clock now in the twelve hour clock after twelve we go back to one o'clock which would be one o'clock in the afternoon with a twenty four hour clock we carry on counting up so one o'clock is now 13 and two o'clock is 14 and again you may hear them called 1300 or 1400 hours and this continues right the way through the afternoon and evening until again we get to 2359 in other words one minute before midnight as soon as we get to midnight we are back to the start and we are back to all zeros. Now the skill that we need is to be able to convert a time from the 12 hour clock to 24 hour or backwards. So let's have a look at how we might do that. Well, we've already looked at one conversion, 12 o'clock at midnight, which is 12 a.m. starts as all zeros on a 24 hour clock. Now, the nice thing is, but if we are looking at one o'clock in the morning, 1 a.m., that simply becomes 0100. And similarly, 2 a.m., don't forget there are no a.m.s or p.m.s in the 24-hour clock. So this is okay. We simply continue with the similar numbers all the way up until we get to 12 o'clock. We are now at p.m., and we know on a 24 hour clock that is also 12 o'clock. Now, we are now switching on the 12 hour clock to the p.m. times, so that becomes 1 p.m. As we've already discussed, on a 24 hour clock that goes to 13. And similarly, 2 p.m. would go to 14, and so on. So mathematically, we have to have a look at what's actually changed. And in fact, it is simply one conversion that we do the same way every time. If you look at the difference here, here we have one, on the other side we have 13. Therefore, what we have done is added 12. Try it again here, 2 to 14, again we've added 12. So let's say we wanted to convert 7 p.m. into the 24-hour clock. We would do exactly the same. We would take the 7, we would add 12. 7 plus 12 is 19, therefore 7 o'clock is 1900. And the same is true for a time that isn't exactly on an hour. Let's say we were going to look at 9.15 in an evening, so 9.15 p.m., we take the 12 hours that we need to add on, we add them onto the 9, so 9 plus 12 is 21, 
and the minutes always stay exactly the same. So of course if we're going to convert in the opposite direction then we do the opposite sum. So 1300 we would subtract 12. 1400 we subtract 12 and it works for every time. So to go from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock we add 12 hours to go from 24 hour clocks to 12 hour clocks we take away 12 hours but only for the times after 12 o'clock midday the morning times remain the same they look a little different they don't have the a.m. but after 12 we have to add or take away 12 hours so again let's have a look at a couple of typical questions the first one is asking us to change 3 30 p.m. to the 12 hour clock so if it is 3 30 p.m. let's use our rule we have to add 12 hours so 3 plus 12 is 15 the minutes stay the same but don't forget because we are now in the 24 hour clock we do not need an a.m. or a p.m. the time is simply 1530 and the second one we are going in the opposite direction we are being asked to change 18 45 back to the 12 hour clock well in this case we take off 12 from the 18 which gives us 6 and the minutes stay the same therefore it is 645 but we have to remember because it is above 12 it must be p m and that's the end of the first part of our look at time in our next video, and I'll put a link to it at the side here, we're going to look at reading the time and working out lengths of time. Hope that was useful for you. Please do subscribe, and if you hit the notifications button, you'll hear about any new videos that I bring out. Thank you.